Skinny Glick. The show is La La Wood, and I'm sitting here with an exciting legend, a man who I've always wanted to meet, the wonderful and exotic Sherry Lewis. Sherry, <laughs> let me ask you something. You, you've spent all those years with puppets, and Lamb Chop was such a daring invention. What intrigues me, and I think so many people want to know, for the hundreds of people who are watching, how did you get started? Well, I was in the ladies' men, uh, ladies' room in Newark, and uh... the ladies' room in Newark. I know it well. <laughs> you do? Hold on, please. <laughs> I'm sorry this happens sometimes. My phone's on vibrate, and trust me, I know when it hits. Hello. Hello, Dixie. How are you? How are the boys? I have four sons, Morgan, Mason, Matthew, and Modine. The last two twins, because I'm a tremendous fan of Matthew Modine's work. I can't talk now, I'm talking to Jerry Lewis. Yes, he's, yes, he, he invented lamb chop. That's right, okay, bye. Look, there's so many things I want to get to and other things I'd love to avoid. You were, you were, is it true that you once were, you were inspired by Chaplin? Tell me about that, Jerry Lewis. Tell me about you being inspired by Chaplin. I think I liked the way he dressed. He li you liked the way he dressed, because he dressed with style. And a sense of panache, just like the great old Hollywood, where it doesn't exist much anymore, does Do you think Hollywood exists the way that Hollywood should exist? The, the golden days, the days of Lana Turner, and the wonderful, wonderful Sid Jouis dancing <laughs> at private parties with her wonderful husband, Tony Martin, who I never liked. <laughs> What did you think of Lana Turner? I thought she was too tall. Far too tall. And the tragedy, of course, when, 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 when the knife went into Johnny Stappanato's stomach. And she was on, who do you think, how do you, what do you, how, when? Was it? <laughs> <laughs> how do you think happened? How, what, what, if there's so many, because there's, there's so many things that, that, so many, so many things that I wonder, there we go. I <laughs> this is one cue card I want to look at and then I'm better. What do you think happened to Johnny Stompin? Well, we'll get to that later. You, you worked with the wonderful, t tell me about you and Dean Jagger. We're a team for how long? No, no, not Dean Jagger. Dean. Dean Martin. Dean Martin, I, that's the more. He was, he was a wonderful, wonderful, a, <laughs> Wonderful Italian performer, and I bet you afterwards you'd eat pasta till dawn. What? How did that start, Jerry Lewis? How did it start? Oh, With I'm... you and Dean. You were in an act. You would, you would lip sync. That's what I was told by, my, by Stacy, my assistant, who often gets things wrong. But she said that you and Dean, you, you, would, you, you, would, you, you, were, you were in vaudeville, or you knew Sophie Tucker. But that's another story. The point was you worked with Dean, and how did it go, Jerry? No, I had Sophie Tucker. <laughs> you had Sophie Tucker? Yes. I bet you did. Oh, that's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, Nets, I want to talk about you and Betsy Palmer and the tour. But first, I want to get back to... J I want to get back... I want to get back... I want to get back... I want to find out. I want to... Stick with me, kid. Stick with me. I want to find... So, Dean and you, and you did all those wonderful movies, and you were wacky, and you were exotic links, and very new. And you, I remember seeing you at the Copa Cabana, one, wonderful, and you were, yeah, it, it, was, it was like hell's a pop, and all hell done break loose when you two would... So tell me about the style. Who did you emulate, like, Jerry Lowe? Who was, who was the one who inspired you the most? I, I, I have to say Marlena Dietrich. <laughs> Marlena Dietrich, because you could, because, because you, you both used Nair, and that was the one way you got to know each other. Very few people know that you were in, uh, is it true that you were in the Brooklyn Dodgers? Tell me about that story, Jerry Lewis, but don't be too long because, you know, viewership's going down in the last minute or two. Well, I met the Brooklyn Dodgers individually. Oh, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. <laughs> Joseph Levitt. Levitch, Levitch. Joseph Levitch. Levitch. Le, 
Le. Va. Va. Chech. Itch. Schlaven. Lemon day. Laven. Holman Pestic. Joseph Levitch. And who, who's Joseph Levitch? Well, that was my, my real name when I was... Your real name. It's not wonderful because everyone, everyone assumes that Jerry Lewis was made up. Now, and, and you were... <laughs> And you indeed, you, you, were, you were a member of the Baha'i faith, uh, which I did at now. And is that, is that true? You people go door to door and irritate people. How does that work? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got more. Now, tell me about King of Comedy with the wonderful Bobby De Niro. Oh, he was wonderful. Wonderful, because he was so method. Did you like him, or did he swear too much? Oh, no, he no. was wonderful. I heard he was mean. No, he's mean, a... to, mean to the crew. No. Mean to the people around him. No. How do these stories get started? I don't know, because I've never heard it. Well, he was mean to the crew. Mean to the crew? No, he wasn't mean to anyone. Bobby De Niro is a great, great actor. But Marty Scorsese, difficult. Marty Scorsese Late is... on this set. We what? He's late to the set. That's what no, people he, say. No, he was never, ever late. He sells ties on the set. Sells ties on the set. Oh, that's wonderful. Because that's just something that you just came up with. That is the art of improvisation, which I think is a wonderful, wonderful gift. You appeared in that wonderful Broadway show, Damn Yankee. Damn it. I love it. And you were a, it's a story about a football player with an attitude, I believe. Tell me about this. How long did you tour? Uh, we did uh, Damn Yankees for three years. Three years. And the unstoppable Jerry Lewis. And I remember saying, I took, I went there with my wonderful friend Kay Ballard. Yes. Yes. And we, I think Kay and I went there and, and she, you know, she, oh, she didn't know where she was. It doesn't matter. The point was we were there and you were in the one, <laughs> and you sang the songs because you have an energy and a zest and a commitment that the young people of today don't seem to have Jerry Lewis. Why do you think young people today don't have that much Jerry Lewis? Why do you think young people don't respond to, to all the needs of society so much today, Jerry? Good talking with you. All right, well, um, I, 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 it's such a thrill being here with you. I remember years ago, I, was, I started off in Hollywood, long story. I came here as a private secretary to the wonderful Charles Nelson Riley. I don't know if you know him. And at the time, I was bussing tables at Jimmy's, and a whole bunch of us, Leon Meharris, George Meharris' brother, and we would go to Roddy McDowell's, and sometimes we'd, 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 we'd cater. We'd cater, and I, I won't tell you to what, but the point was, the point, that's, this is what I'm trying to say. We would see the telethon back then, and we'd say, oh my God, there's a man who cares about America, and he works with hand puppets, so I was impressed. <laughs> There's so much I wanted to get to. I wanted to talk about liposuction, which I have had done. <laughs> yes, they, I, it was actually severe injury. They used a hose that had not been cleaned. My gardener had been using. I ended up Dutch elm disease of the thigh. But that's, again, I don't want to bore you with that, as I have, you know, America. So let me just say that the wonderful film, the wonder, I'm, I'm thank Jerry, though, thank you so much. Thank you for being you. And thank you for standing for something. And yet, at the same time, really nothing at all. <laughs> it's Jiminy Glick. The show is Lala Wood. It's the telethon. Please phone in for it's Jerry Lewis. I love him. <laughs> I have never in my life saw a more brilliant performance by the marvelous Marty Short. Thank you, Jerry. God bless you. And thank you all. Boom, boom. They didn't warn me about that one. <laughs> oh, brilliant, brilliant. God almighty. I want a I tape of that just to watch again. God, he was fat.